in my lap the runes of wisdom. Above me the star of being. Below the path of mystery. And within me the everlasting power. By which all things are made possible. We're here to honor and give praise to the kindred and give thanks for the bounty of the harvest. Bless us, O oh shining ones, in our work. Yeah. Before we begin, we want to acknowledge that we stand upon the unceded territory of the Attawandarank and Haudenosaunee. Oh my God, why can't I say this word? Haudenosaunee people. We make this offering of tobacco in thanks for allowing us to worship here. Miigwech a winningham. We give this gift to you, Mother Non, the earth from which Whence we all came, come, on whose back we tread, whose bounty nourishes us. Look kindly on our work this day, the foundation of our lives and all our happiness built, is built upon you. So we give you this, the first offering in thanks. Hail Earth Mother, accept our sacrifice. Hail, Hail Earth, Earth Mother, Mother. accept our uh, Put it on the ground. Nairud, peace weaver, calmer of sea, wind, and fire, grant us to find for the ship of our life. Save space in your harbor, respite from all storms. Let us feed on the fair riches you share, the hunt's bounty, the fisherman's prize. Mighty Nairud, honor us as we honor you. give you this offering, take this gift freely given, and trouble us not. Let us first recreate the cosmos, the center of all things. And uh, the response is home of our home. We are at the center of all things. Home, home of our home. home. The land is firm be below our feet. Home, home of our home. home. The eternal sea surrounds us. Home, home of our home. home. The endless sky stretches above us. Home, home of our home. home. By land and sea and sky do we come. By land and sea and sky we are, are we made. By land and sea and sky we are at the center of all things. Home of our home. Mm -hmm. 
Pearl Tree? Yeah. Julia? If there's no one, it'll be you. <laughs> <laughs> In the center of all things, there is a tree stretching above and below, stretching between all of the worlds. Let this tree be the tree through all places and all time, joining all the worlds together. Behold the sacred tree. Behold the sacred tree. Sacred tree grow within us. Sacred tree grows in us. In the roots of the tree in the center of all, there is a well containing the powers that cannot be contained, connecting to all the waters in all of the worlds. Let this well be the well through all places and all times joining all the waters behold the sacred waters behold, behold the sacred the waters. waters sacred waters flow within us sacred, sacred waters flow within us, us. Behold the sacred fires. <laughs> Just give it a taste. Yay! holy flame, the sacred waters, the grove is claimed and hallowed. With the world tree stretched above us and below us, this grove is claimed and hallowed. With the spirits of the people shining bright and strong, this, this grove is claimed and hallowed. So be it. So, so be, be it. it. the cosmic tree, the axis of the universe that connects the nine worlds. Now we call upon Heimdall, the gatekeeper, so we can connect to the realm. And to the shining ones. Watch the fire and Yggdrasil and see Bifus, the rainbow bridge manifest before us. Heimdall, shining one, guardian of beautiful Bifas, where the Vanaheimer and Midgarder meet. We ask you, Father of all men, to open the gate. Let the blessings and praise flow freely between our worlds, and let us know our gods and they them, they us. Heimdaller, gatekeeper, we honor you. Heimdaller, gatekeeper, we honor you. Nine pillars of fire we will light in our mind's eye to aid Heimdaller in his work. We light the fire of Muspelheimer, barren realm of the dead. We light the fire of Nidabilir and, and Hell. No, we light the fire of Hell and Niflheimer, barren realm of the dead. 
You light the fire of Muspelheimer, origins of the first flame. You light the fire of Nidavellir in the places under the mountain where the treasures of the gods are made. We light the fire of Jotunheimer, land of the giants, frigid and frightful realm of the north. We light the fire of Svartalheimer, place of the dark elves, the land of mischief and shadows. We light the fire of Midgarder, our own world, so rich and beautiful, garden of the gods. We light the fire of Alfheimer, land of the light elves, world of twilight. We light the fire of Vanerheimer, home of the Vanir, land of all that is good and plentiful. We light the fire of Asgarder, the world of the mighty Aesir, kingdom of power, land of heroes. Let our voices be made heard throughout the nine realms. Riding the roots of Yggdrasil, worlds of darkness, worlds of light, worlds of fire and worlds of ice, worlds of beauty and worlds most bleak. Through all the worlds do we proclaim, let the gates be open. Let, let the, the gates, gates be, be open. open. Hear your true worshipers as they make due sacrifice. <laughs> Ancestors, keepers of wisdom, life wise, your knowledge is hidden. Grandmothers and fathers, beloved dead, all far. This year, heroes and guardians, warding spirits untouched by memory, ancestors of blood, of heart, and of land, we call you forth to bless our grove, bless our right and the people herein. Spirits of the land, keepers of place, <coughs> weather-wise, your knowledge runs deep. Land Vitir great, ancient as earth, land rights old, guardians of garth, spirits of leaf, and thorn and stone, creatures of feather and fur and skin. Yes, you're a creature too. We call you <laughs> forth to bless our grove, bless our rights and the people herein. <coughs> Aesir, Vanir, Shining Ones All, of Aster and Embla, my ancestors, ancestors first, the beauty of Midgard and the bounty of all, many things made, of the gods we all come, none of you gods is not mighty indeed, of soul, sense and being you have given us well, taught us of runes, of faith and troth, of right mindfulness and honor, and honor true. O oh, shining ones of magic and might, we call you forth. Bless our right and the people herein. Today we celebrate and give thanks for the abundance that we have in our life. All around us, autumn colors blaze in a triumph of beauty and bounty. What we have wrought in the spring and summer is now made manifest. The wheel is turning, however, into the darker times of the year, and we stand in the point of balance between light and dark. The work that we have done and will do before the snow sets in will be what keeps us warm and safe in the winter months. As light balances darkness, let's take a moment to give thanks to the kindred for the joy and lightness of the summer that is now past and for the bounty of the harvest, for the manifold blessings we enjoy in our lives. By our gratitude, we will know how blessed we are to live in this world. 
because of our work and with the keep with the help of the gods we can partake of the bounty of the earth and want for nothing we call upon the vanir to the most bright and beautiful freya and her shining brother freyr Freya, O oh beautiful and mighty goddess, bearer of Bringskemen, right. weeper of gold, you who bring peace amongst the tribes of sky and earth and bring abundance and love into our lives. We see you in the golden wheat. We hear you in the work of bees. We smell you in the turning leaves and feel you in the fur of the cat. We pray that you bear birth to our folk, <laughs> that you show us love through the winter and that you bring us back to bright bounty again. Be with us this day to honor our right as we honor you. Hail Freya! Freya, shining and glorious one, protector of gods, bringer of fertility, warrior without a weapon, he who gives his sword for love, we see you in the bristle of the boar, we hear you in the hum of crickets, we smell you in the overturned earth, and we feel you in the beat of the partridge. We pray that you protect us and our kin, that you ward us through the winter, and that you bring us back to bright bounty again. Be with us this day and honor our right as we honor you. to you, Frere! Hail! Hail. Hail. Now is the time for you to make your own offering to the Vanir. the gods of the folk and it is thus appropriate time to make prayers to them. Please take this time to make your own offerings and prayers to the gods.
like an apple. We're gonna do a little magic with it. Ooh, hey, magic. He's got new friends. Each one of you has in their hands an apple. This is probably the most evocative symbol of this time of year for people living in the Western Northern Hemisphere. It's also probably the most common fruit of North Americans and Europeans. So it wouldn't normally be considered something special. But take a minute to either close your eyes or just look at your apple and reflect on how extraordinary this fruit actually is. One fall day, some years ago, an apple, just like the one you were holding, fell to the ground and decayed. During the harsh, dark winter, its seeds stayed warm under the fallen leaves and the snow, waiting, dormant. When the snow melted and the warmth and the light managed to make their way down to the soil, one of the seeds that survived cracked open to let out a shoot. This shoot grew over many, many years. Its roots delving deep into the ground, its branches growing up into the sky, its leaves producing oxygen, and every spring giving us beauty by flowering. This is exactly what happened this last spring. Despite everyone living in COVID nightmare, <laughs> there were still flowers that bloomed on this apple tree. One of the fragrant flowers got fertilized, perhaps by a bee, and developed into the apple you have in your hand. It spent the summer months slowly growing, gathering enough energy to make the sweet flesh and the seeds that will survive the winter that is coming. This is what you have in your hand the harvested fruit of a process that started years ago. Amazing, isn't it? This might be the reason why harvested foods were seen as a gift from the gods, especially apples. These were the fruits that give eternal youth and fertility to the gods and were carefully kept by the goddess Udun. Now open your eyes and remember, when you are at a loss with one of your projects, or feel that you've hit a wall. Remember the seemingly ordinary apple. It might take years, both in times of cold and darkness and times of light and growth for things to come to fruition. Also remember that any victory you harvest, however seemingly small, may be in fact extraordinary and a gift from the gods. Now, if you wish, eat your apple thinking of your own harvest, spiritual or physical, great or small, that you are grateful for. I'm sorry, don't wait for apples. <laughs> Let our voices arise on the fire. Let our voices resound in the wells. Let our voices echo throughout the nine realms. O oh, Frere and Freya, mighty and glorious Vanir, 
accept our sacrifice, our worship and reverence. Let our lives and lands be bountiful and be a living testament to your gifts. Hear our calls, O shining ones, and grant us what blessings you may. Folk of Midgarther, is it your wish to learn of the weird of the people? It is. It is. The omens speak first of joy, of simple pleasures, which is what we are here today to recognize. The gifts that the earth gives us, the sweetness of the apple on our mouths, the joy of family surrounding us, the feeling of gratitude that infuses us. The next rune is Hagalaz, which is the rune of hail, the rune of the coming darkness. We know that this is the way the world goes. This is the cycle of life, the cycle of the seasons, and we are preparing ourselves for the coming winter. We have, however, the protection of the gods as the next rune is Algiz, which is the protection of the folk, but also the protection of hunters and gatherers, for those who are collecting the resources that we need to survive through the cold winter months. Finally, we have Tewaz, which is the right words, the right actions. And if we stay true to our ourselves and our course of action, we will be safe. The omen speaks of now and tomorrow and also of the next few months ahead. There are times that will be difficult as we move into the colder months, but we have on our backs the shields of the gods and we have the light of truth shining for us so we may see our paths ahead is it a good omen it is, it is.
Behold the horn of plenty. This is the outpouring of blessings from the mighty ones, from Freya and Freyr. Let the beauty fill us up. Let our lives know no want, and may we be blessed with the spirits of the harvest. Hail the horn! Hail the, Hail the horn! horn. <clears throat> Which one's the tequila? <laughs> All of the tequila. Thank you. Hail to Freya! Hail, Hail Freya. Freya! Hail to Freya! Hail, Hail to Freya! Hail the gods! Hail! Hail. The gods. Hail Earth, the gift to all humankind! Hail! Hail! Hail. have come. He did our calling. Honor was given and honor received. Great are the dead and great are the heroes. Great are the land rights and great are the gods. With each call we make to the kindreds true, they heed our calls more and our troth stronger be. Right ending, words waning, our troth stronger still. We carry it well with us always. Honor to the kindred forevermore. Freya and Freya, great and glorious ones, we thank you for your aid and for the blessings of this harvest. 
Although we be depart, you remain in our hearts. Vanir, Aether, mighty gods all, for your aid and guidance, we say hail to you and thanks. Hail! Hail! hail. And thanks. Honored dead, Desir and Alfar, for your wisdom, we say hail to you and thanks. Hail! hail. And thanks. 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 Land of Atir, spirits of the land, for your protection, we say hail to you and thanks. Hail! hail. And thanks. And thanks. Heimdall, guardian of Bifrost, and gatekeeper for your magic, we say hail to you and thanks. Hail! hail. hail. And, thanks. and thanks. Sea father, wielder of water, wind, and fire, we say hail to you and thanks. Hail! Hail! Thanks. Thanks. thanks! Earth Mother, who gives to us all, hail to you and thanks! Hail! hail. And thanks. Thanks. thanks! Now, by the gatekeeper and our own magic, we end what we began. Let the fire be but flame. May the well be but water. May all be as it was before. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. This grove was founded in January 2007, at which time a commitment was made to celebrate together every high day and other occasions to worship the land and the spirits that reside here, the ancestors and our gods. Today, as on every feast day, we now restate our oath. We have done as our ancestors have done, and our children will do the kindred have, a, have answered. Let us go now as children of the earth. Peace be on us and blessings too. This ritual has ended. So be it. So be, so it. be it. Woo! Yay! Take a look. <laughs>